Vice Chair uh, Schenck. Okay. Are there any other? Well, we're gonna I have, have uh, Jim speak right. last. Okay. Right. Well, talk about being in the in the lion's den. <laughs> uh, I think my past co public comments have uh, made it clear that I was uh, skeptical of a, a blended system, and uh, I've tried to keep an open mind. I've listened. I've studied. I've debated, uh, reflected, um, but uh, I. I and, and I fully understand and support the Caltrain electrification goals, uh, but I can't support it at the expense of the ultimate goal of high-speed rail. Uh, I have been a supporter of high-speed rail for many decades, uh, wrote the congressional uh, bill on it, and so my laser goal has been high-speed rail. Uh, and I, I want everyone to know I have the greatest respect for my former colleague, Anna Eshoo, the legislative team that represents this area, the local leaders and the people of this area. Uh, and, and for that reason, I have sort of gone along uh, up to this point so that uh, we could work with everyone here. I have virtually boundless respect for our chairman, uh, my other colleagues, uh, Jim Hartnett and, and uh, the others uh, here who've worked so hard on this, the, the staff, uh, your hard work, and so I've tried not to get in, in the way. Uh, but um, I, I owe the people of California nothing less than voting my conscience, and I hope you all accept that. Uh, this is uh, not something that is uh, in, in any way reflective of the, the work that you have done and your very legitimate goals here. Uh, and in fact, I hope that in future, uh, the future will prove me wrong, uh, but I, I'm going to vote no at, at this time. And, uh, uh, and I want to make sure that everyone understands that despite the vote, I mean, we see where this is going, you know, I'm pretty good at counting votes, uh, uh, that once the majority has spoken, I will fully support the work and efforts uh, to make this happen. But at this time, um, I will have to vote no. So I hope you all understand. Um. <clears throat>